This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. The opposition is calling on the Prime Minister to allow national MPs to have a conscience vote on alcohol reform instead of making them tow the party line. There appears to be division in national on issues like minimum pricing. Some doctors in the party support it, but they're likely to have to vote against it. Political reporter Michael Parkin has more. Minimum alcohol pricing. Scotland's introducing it, and both the Law Commission and Children's Commissioner believe it's a way to tackle alcohol abuse in New Zealand. Labour and the Māori Party are proposing amending the alcohol reform bill to include minimum pricing, but it's unlikely to become law here because National's leader doesn't back it. I personally hold the view uh, that minimum pricing is not likely to be tremendously successful. Even though the doctors within the party appear to. I think there is um, merit in it and minimum price, yes definitely, but I will be voting with the government on what that, whatever that decision will be. As a medical expert, is it something you see merit in? Look, there is a whole lot of, a whole spectrum of ways to diminish harm from alcohol. It's one of the, that spectrum. Their opinions are important if they're allowed to cast a conscience vote on the proposed amendments, based on their personal views. And for Labour MPs, all of these amendments will be a conscience vote. It's now calling on John Key not to make his MPs toe the party line. This is a whole new uh, area for the National Party. Uh, alcohol issues have always been individual judgment issues for members of Parliament. Uh, why John Key doesn't trust his own members to exercise their own judgment is really something that you should ask him. So we did. We don't think that that, that would make for very coherent lawmaking for that to be a conscience issue. Despite the opinion of some within National's rank, a conscience vote appears out of the question. Michael Parkin, One News. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team.